Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the tips, tricks and strategies on how to prepare for the Duolingo English test in just a week. Uh, I can assure you that these strategies will help you uh, succeed in the Duolingo English test and get the scores of your desire. So keep watching the video till the end. Okay, so first things first, create a study schedule and dedicate specific time slots each day for the Duolingo English test. Uh, also, make sure you understand the format of the test uh, because the Dorning English test consists of four sections reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Uh, so, each section is important, so allocate equal time for practice. Uh, now, talking about the reading skills, in order to improve your reading skills, practice your compre uh, comprehension skills every single day by reading English articles, books, or just newspapers. And also focus on understanding the main idea of the text plus the key details as well. Highlight any new vocabulary that you, you face and you are unaccustomed with. And one thing to keep in mind is to enhance your vocabulary skills and learn advanced vocabulary in order to score higher on the reading section of the drawing English test. Now moving on to another section which is the listening sections. And for the listening section, expose yourself uh, to different English uh, accents by watching uh, movies or TV shows uh, without subtitles and this will help you uh, train your ears to understand different accents and improve your comprehension skill. Uh, you can also listen to English podcasts on YouTube uh, and also news articles in English. So now let's move on to speaking section and this is one of the most difficult section uh, for the test takers out there because they cannot express their opinions and in a better way in order to score higher on the Duolingo English test. So for that, so practice speaking English every single day. Uh, just, you know, speak with yourself uh, in the mirror or engage in an English conversation with natives or just record yourself um, discussing, where, discussing various topics and then listen to that and this will help you in, improve your pronunciation and fluency. And that is the key in order to score higher in, in the Duolingo English test. Uh, okay, so now let's move on to the writing section and for this start by practicing writing short essays or paragraphs on different topics. Remember that on different topics. Plus start by brainstorming uh, ideas and outlining your essays before diving, uh, diving into writing. Remember to include a clear introduction, uh, body paragraphs with supporting uh, evidence and strong conclusion. Uh, also, pay attention to grammar and vocabulary while writing because um, grammar and vocabulary play a vital role in your uh, writing section in order to in, in also uh, in your scores in writing. So, uh, try to use advanced vocabulary and grammar in order to score higher in your writing section. Uh, also, you can use online resources or language learning apps to get feedback uh, on your writing. All right, so. Um, Remember that, okay, so keep in mind uh, that in addition to these tips, take advantage of Duolingo's own resources because they offer simple tests and practice exercises uh, for free. Uh, so uh, just go and get advantages from those resources. Uh, also familiar familiarize yourself with the test format because this will help you uh, score higher if you understand the question types and also the uh, test format. And also, there are a tons of tons of videos uh, of the Duolingo practice test. Um, like you can find plenty of videos on my channel where I have uploaded the Duolingo English practice test, and you can just go and I, I would recommend you to go and watch that uh, and watch them because they will help you evaluate your answers with uh, the test. The, the other guys which are taking we have taken the test, and this will help you to uh, you know just enhance your answers even more because you are comparing yourself with another, with another test taker and you can compare your scores as well and through this you can just enhance your uh, final scores and at the end of the day remember consistency is the key so uh, I would say that make, make a study schedule and stick to it plus dedicate at least one hour uh, each day for practice and review and most importantly, don't stress yourself out. Take it easy, practice every single day, and when you're completely prepared for the exam, 
just go and take it. Uh, I, I wish you best of luck for your ink dueling English test. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys in the next one.